Good evening. I am Nandini Suburu here to present my study bicarbonate buffer lignocin for improved local anesthesia in routine exodontia, a pilot study. Lignocin, an amide local anesthetic which is widely used in dental procedures with a pH of 6.5, is often used in combination with adrenaline, a vasoconstrictor with pH ranging from 3.5 to 5.5, which is an acidic solution. So, to normalize the pH of the local anesthetic solutions, the local anesthetic solutions has been buffered with commonly used buffering solutions like sodium bicarbonate, which is commonly available in the concentrations of 7.5% weight by volume and 8.4% weight by volumes. To achieve painless injection technique for rapid onset of anesthetic action and improved success rate of anesthesia. Although buffering local anesthetic is well documented and proved the efficacy of buffer local anesthetic solution in many studies, it is not widely accepted. Buffering of local anesthetics is advantageous in areas of injections as they alter the local tissue pH to alkaline environment. Thereby, it also increases the bioavailability of base molecules at the site of injection. In addition, it also produces carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide potentiates local anesthesia by three mechanisms. Direct depressant effect of carbon dioxide on the axon, concentrating local anesthesia inside the nerve trunk, converting local anesthesia to the active cation through its effect on pH at the site of action inside the nerve. This paper is an original attempt to evaluate the efficacy of sodium bicarbonate buffer 2% dignocaine in 1 is to 80,000 adrenaline in routine exodontia. This study mainly focuses to assess the pain during injection, to evaluate the time of onset of anesthesia, to assess pain during extraction, and to study the duration of soft tissue anesthesia. Under the guidelines of American Society of Anesthesiologists, we included 25 patients of age group 20 to 60 years with either no systemic disorders or mild systemic conditions that can be controlled. We excluded patients with medical complications, pregnant patients and severe space infections. The material we included in our study are 2% lignocaine in 1 is to 80,000 adrenaline, 7.5% sodium bicarbonate solutions in 10 ml vials and disposable syringes. After thorough screening and protocol, we briefly explained the procedure to the patient and informed consent was obtained. After obtaining an informed consent under sterile environment, a 2 ml syringe is loaded with 1.64 ml of 2% lignocaine in 1 is to 80,000 adrenaline followed by 0.36 ml of sodium bicarbonate is loaded into the same syringe and mixed gently. The time of onset of anesthesia has been recorded using a stop clock under the patient perspection. The routine exodontic procedure has been carried out. After the procedure has been completed, the pain during injection and pain during extraction has been recorded using a visual unlock scale. The duration of soft tissue anesthesia has been recorded by asking the patient to stay in the observation room until the soft tissue anesthesia has been rescued. After all the records are completed, the patient is instructed for strict post-extraction precautions and the medication is advised and the patient is discharged. The simple protocol has been followed for every patient. And the results of our study were subjected to the statistical analysis which include the time of onset of anesthesia is less than 1 minute and the duration of onset of anesthesia is faster in maxilla when compared to that of mandibular blocks and the onset is faster in infiltration than in blocks. Pain during injection is minimized in most of the patients according to our results and pain during extraction is also minimized in most of the patients. The duration of soft tissue anesthesia has been increased and prolonged when compared to that of non-buffer local anesthetic solutions which has been extended up to 3 hours. So hereby we conclude that onset of 
Anesthesia is faster with buffer local anesthetics when compared to that of non-buffered non solutions. Depth of anesthesia is good which is reflected by the evidence that there was no need for repetition of anesthesia. Patients were comfortable during extractions. Patients develop positive attitude towards dental treatment which is very important in gaining patient confidence and in turn making further appointments more comfortable and pleasing. As per literature, the duration of soft tissue anesthesia of non-buffer solution is about 90 minutes whereas for buffer local anesthetic solution it has been prolonged up to 5 to 6 hours. Hence, administering buffer local anesthetic solutions would help in elevating the patient's anxiety and create a good relationship for further appointments. Although we have many advantages, the common difficulties which we come across in our study are the availability of sodium bicarbonate only in two concentrations that is 7.5% weight by volume 10 ml vial and 8.4% weight by volume in 25 ml or 50 ml ampules. It should be prepared freshly as it might precipitate. The proper titration is required if the increased concentration of uh, sodium bicarbonate it might lead to cloudy appearance and precipitation of the solutions. Decreased concentration has no effect. Further research is needed to develop easy delivery system for buffering local anesthetics. One such technique is on pharma, onset mixing pen. It is most commonly used in foreign when compared to that in India. In the golden era of dentistry, there is wide necessity of solutions like buffer local anesthetics and advanced technique like on pharma to excel the evolving dentistry thank you